This module will look at logic gates. We'll look at how to describe them and how to make them cost effective. In terms of optimization, we'll examine Carnell maps, although other techniques such as the McCluskey method can be used. We'll wrap up the module with a bit of an introduction to hardware definition languages such as Verilog and VHDL. Digital circuits are hardware components that manipulate binary information. Each basic circuit is called a logic gate. Taken together, many gates combine to form integrated circuits. In order to understand how gates work, it's necessary to take a look at binary logic, which is one of a class of systems generally called Boolean algebras. Binary logic deals with binary variables, which take on two discrete values, and with the operations of mathematical logic that can be applied to these systems. For this course, we'll use the values of 0 and 1, although other systems of logic use true and false. We'll use capital letters for variables, and we'll have operations of AND, OR, and NOT. Let's take a look at these operations. The logical AND operation is represented by a dot, or sometimes by the absence of an operator. Some notations even use the up arrow symbol. If both variables are true in logical AND, the result is true. Logical AND works the exact same way that binary multiplication works, provided that we use only a single bit. The logical OR operation is represented by a plus symbol. Some notations use down arrow. If either or both of the variables are true, then the result is true. Logical OR resembles binary addition, with the exception that 1 OR 1 is equal to 1. It's also different semantically than the English word OR, since both options can be included. Not as generally represented by a bar over variable, although there are some other notations out there. It's sometimes referred to as the complement operation since it changes the 1 to a 0 and the 0 to a 1. It is also a unary operation and it only takes a single variable's input. A table for an operation is a table of combinations of the binary variables showing the relationship between the values that the variables take on and the values of the results of the operations. Here you can see the truth tables for the three basic logical operations we just discussed, AND, OR, and NOT. Binary logic is mathematical in nature and works perfectly. However, we'll need a real-world implementation eventually. Enter logic gates. Logic gates are electronic circuits that operate on one or more input signals to produce an output signal according to a logical operation. The input terminals on logic gates accept binary signals within allowable ranges and respond to the output terminals with a binary signal that falls within the specified range. On the right hand side of the slide you can see the graphic symbols that are used to designate the AND, OR, and NOT gates. The small dot on the end of the NOT gate is a negation indicator. Unfortunately, the real world can be perfect like the pure thought stuff of mathematics, so we have to consider issues of time. In addition to its logic function, each gate has another important property called gate delay. Gate delay is the length of time it takes for an input change to result in a corresponding output change. Gate delays depend on several factors, and even within individual gates, some types of changes can take longer than others. We can simplify a bit and just say that each gate has a delay of T sub G, and shift its waveform accordingly, as in this graphic. Gates can have more than just two inputs. Pictured here are gates with three and six inputs respectively, along with their corresponding output equations. The three logic gates of AND, OR, and NOT are enough to implement all the different Boolean functions we may encounter in our travels. However, we need to consider practical matters such as feasibility and the economic cost, in addition to the convenience of representing the gates. So other type of gates get used. This is the NAND gate. It represents the complement of the AND function. It has an output of 1 in all the cases except where the two inputs are both 1. The gate itself looks like AND, with the exception of the small dot leading to the output, which is our negation indicator. This is the NOR gate. It represents the complement of the OR function. It has an output of 1 only when both inputs are 0. The drawing is an OR gate, with the negation inverter leading to the output. It turns out that NAND and NOR are the simplest and fastest gates. They also tend to be the cheapest and have the property that each of them is functionally complete. That is, both NAND and NOR can be used to implement all possible Boolean functions by themselves. If you're interested in the mathematics behind this, there are some fairly easy symbolic proofs that you can find in the discrete math book we use here at UH Hilo, but this figure shows an intuitive graphical proof of this for NAND. Exclusive OR and exclusive NOR gates are also commonly used in logic design. 
If the source of OR is true when neither one of the inputs is true, but not both. This corresponds to what we mean semantically when we use the word OR. Exclusive NOR is the complement of exclusive OR, and is true if both inputs are the same. Schematics are okay for small efforts, such as those at the beginning of this chapter, but we need hardware description languages for larger efforts. HDLs resemble programming languages and can be used to provide structural descriptions for hardware through the interconnection of components. In contemporary digital design, HDL models at a high level of abstraction can automatically be synthesized into optimized working hardware. We'll see more about HDLs later in this module and throughout the course. Here we see the VHDL logical operators and how they're used in practice. You can see the Verilog versions in Chapter 2 of the text. We'll be using both of these languages in this course and we'll introduce them a little bit later in this module. Thank you as always for watching. Be sure to check Lalima for assignments, announcements, and more.